What is up everyone? Uh, I thought I'd do another update. I haven't done one. So the last video that you watched, um, if you've watched it, or the introduction to the skyline, that was from December last year. We're now in April. Originally, I was going to do vlogs and I was going to um, show my progression with what was happening with this car. And then for some reason I was like, no one's going to want to watch it. No one's going to want to watch these videos. So then I stopped and I did some progression on the car and everything. Uh, and then now I decided to put that video together, chuck it on YouTube. And a lot of people are like, hey, we want to see more things. So I'm going to carry on doing that. I still got stuff to do. I've still got lots and lots of stuff to do on the Skyline. So what has been done to the car? I will take you through now quickly uh, what has been done to the car. The car's had a full respray in the factory skyline white, but we've added a blue pearl to it as well. I'm not too sure if the camera will pick up the blue pearl. Um, it's got a new front bumper uh, put on. It's a top secret. I think it's top secret. I think that's what it was. Top secret uh, front bumper. The front mount's still there. I've moved the indicator. So originally the indicators are down here on the standard bumper. Uh, they are now in there. And then the park light is inside the main mold. Uh, light bulb the main light bulb jesus i can't english right now this is the side that was really bad where the paint was all completely cracked and the guard was just completely ruined as you can see it's been completely fixed uh side skirt now on this side as well the uh, the back was really really munted there was a bit of rust in there as well so that's all been removed it's got the gtr wing i decided to go oh, there's a bit of some dirt on there some dirt and some drips on there i uh, decided to go and change it uh, the rear spoiler for the GTR one. I kind of like it. I don't want this to be a GTR. I'm not trying to make like a impersonation of a GTR, but I just like the GTR wing. Uh, the interior, what I've done on the interior side of things, it's still pretty pretty much the same. Um, we've got the wheel alignment and bits and pieces done, so the wheel is actually straight now. You can see here I've got the gauges put in. They are Savage Performance gauges. They're pretty nice. Um, they're all good. Uh, here's the dash that was originally all chipped in and completely rooted. Uh, it's been sanded right back, bogged a couple of the holes and repainted. It's just really dusty, I think. I haven't really... We're currently in lockdown uh, here in New Zealand, so I can't really take this out. But it's just a little bit dusty. Replace the gear knob uh, for an Nismo white one. Uh, these buttons, so I've worked out... Uh, this is the high and low boost. This isn't even connected and this one's not even connected either So I need to get a replacement piece of plastic for that. Uh, I replaced the door cards as well uh, I replaced all the door cards. So we've got the standard speaker instead of those ugly 6x9s in the front I don't know why they did that. That's all been replaced down here Again got one of these when I got it from the wrecker. Uh, it was actually completely So when I brought this it was completely like sticky and just weird and like those scratches all through it so I had to paint it. Um, I didn't really want to paint it, but it is what it is, and it looks right. I got some new switches as well, so they actually actually work properly. And here is the engine bay now. So I've done a little bit of bits and pieces to it. Um, I've cleaned the turbo as much as I can, removed the big uh, pod folder that was on it, put a four inch pipe, put another pod folder there so it's a little bit better. Move the power steering uh, reservoir down to here just because it was it was literally right up against the turbo and it was actually um, creating like a couple of burn marks on the power steering reservoir so I was like mm, that's probably not such a good idea so we moved it moved it there. Painted the rocker covers a satin black which have turned out pretty good. We replaced all of the silicone joints as well um, for brand new ones. Got new T-clamps as well. Um, I actually need to get a new one of these because it's just it's too big. So I got a brand new pipe for in here, uh, and then made a tee off here for the uh, electronic boost controller. And the electronic boost controller used to be sitting on here, just kind of scraping on there. Uh, it's now moved to the back here, just on a little bracket. And then for the electronic boost controller, I teed the vacuum off the back of the turbo here, which I had to uh, tap. I didn't get the engine bay re-sprayed, as you can tell. Uh, because it was just going to cost way too much to try and pull the engine out 
and then get it resprayed. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to take uh, most of all these top bits out and, and every bit that I can kind of get out myself and then I'll respray the top pieces and some bits and pieces down here. One thing that I'm starting to realize with this car is the parts that have been used are either fake or they are no branded or they are just really crap quality. And the reason I tell you this is I only got this car retuned maybe like a month or so ago before we went into lockdown and there was problem after problem with it. So these um, yellow jacket coil packs, they are pretty much on their way out. Uh, it's one of the last three that are dying, so I might as well get them all replaced. We did put some Skyline R35 coil packs in just for a test to see if it fixed the misfiring, which it did, and it made 315 kilowatts at the wheels. What I'm going to do is get the, I think they're called Vag uh, coil packs. I think that's what they're called. I could be wrong, but uh, it's going to be the Audi R8 uh, coil packs that are going, going to go on there. So once I'm out of lockdown, we'll put those in. The other thing that I've realized is this here, it is mounted properly now, but it's a sard and it is fake. It is not a genuine sard. So I'm not too sure if there's anything wrong with it, but I'm going to be replacing it. Uh, one thing I did realize as well is when I first brought this car, there was only two bolts uh, holding the throttle body on and they weren't even hand tight. So when I actually completely sealed this up, it started to boost spike and it's tuned for 19 psi and it was going up to 26 and still going so that's why i ended up getting a retune done on the car uh, the blower valve that was on it was a fake hks blower valve so i have replaced that and i've got a teal uh, 50 is it 50 or 55 millimeter i think it's 50 millimeter uh, blower valve it's again it's still under here uh, you probably can't see it I'm not too sure if I like the blower valve being in the wheel arch area, but I've got no room to put it there. I was thinking about putting it on this side, but when I did some research and I was reading up about which side the blower valve should be on, everyone kind of said that it should be on this side, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to leave it. Don't care. So this is pretty much where I'm at uh, with the car. I think the next thing that I need to do is I need to do the relay mod um, for the fuel pump in the back. So it's basically where you um, make a direct feed from the battery to the relay, then the relay to the uh, fuel pump. All right, and that's pretty much it. So I will hopefully have a new video very soon on uh, doing the mods and, and other bits and pieces that I'm gonna be doing. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, the bell button, I don't know, I'm a Twitch streamer. I don't know how this shit works, I've got no idea. What is it, like, like, subscribe, bell, I don't know, man. I've got no idea. Anyway, thank you guys. <laughs>